An internet personality from Shelby Township claims he can have you swimming in cash in no time. But his customers say he's all wet. It's time to dive in with Rob Olchek for his latest Hall of Shame investigation. Rob. This guy is supposed to build pools in people's backyards. And the stuff he posts on his website, blogs, podcasts, and social media pages makes it look like he's floating on an ocean of success. Hey there, Brandon. Rob Walchick from Fox 2. Can I talk to you? Meet Brandon Heitman. Hey, hey, Brandon Heitman here. We can get you a new swimming pool. Brandon bills himself as a millionaire contractor, an internet personality, a pool builder who's taken the plunge and made a fortune. What a success story. From mowing lawns for $20 to $1 million projects. Oh, let's go. Let's roll. Love checks. Love checks. Got a lot of money coming in and a lot of money going out. This 30-year-old entrepreneur is so successful, he's a mentor to other contractors around the nation. Yep, you can be like Brandon by joining the Heitman Academy, flying in private jets, visiting exotic places, building pools. Let's dive in and check out some of this guy's masterpieces. Like this still unfinished gun-eyed beauty which was supposed to be completed more than a year ago. It's such a unique design, it won't even pass code. 75% 10 foot deep end and hardly any shallow end. He doesn't know what he's doing. How about this fantabulous fiberglass pool that gets deeper every day? Because the owners say it's sagging in the middle and sinking. Our pool is essentially garbage. It needs to be torn out and started from scratch. Or how about this pool? Oh, that's right. There is no pool here, even though this couple paid Brandon $60,000. Everything that he told us was a lie. Brandon is a special businessman. He even cried, like tears, like he's when he wanted me to give him more money. Crybaby contractor. He started crying. I live in Huckster. He's um, super arrogant. Get ready for 2023. Now is the time to cry. It's Sink or Swim with Brandon Heitman. You need to be willing to get outside the comfort zone. Going outside his comfort zone and maybe going straight into a jail cell. This is Becca and Alex's pool. They paid Brandon Heitman's company, Exigen of Shelby Township, more than $100,000 to install it. But they say the fiberglass pool was put in crooked, under stress, and won't pass inspection. The way someone explained it to me is they said, take a Rubbermaid tote that you know you use downstairs for storage and turn it and twist it lock it in concrete and fill it with water. There is going to be an extreme amount of tension on every part of that Rubbermaid tote. They say Brandon Heitman was too busy making videos promoting himself to help them. Soon they found out the guy who is teaching others how to be a successful contractor wasn't even a licensed contractor himself. In fact, he didn't get his license until March of 2023. I went and pulled the permits. That's when we discovered that they were unlicensed. The permits were pulled by somebody named Henry Bell, a licensed contractor the couple say they've never met who's never stepped foot on their property and doesn't even work for Exigent. Alex put together this website to document how terrible their experience has been. But instead of Brandon coming out to help them fix their pool, he sued them for defamation. To date, I've paid him $122,000. Deanne says she's humiliated by how badly she was heisted by Heitman. I asked him specifically if he had a license. He said yes. There's plenty of holes in that story. Here's the main one in her backyard. Pipes are cemented in that are too small. The elevation is off. Holy sh**. And it's been like this for two whole summers. She told Brandon she's had enough. But Brandon told her he didn't have enough. Enough money to bring it up to code. I'm, I'm not the bank. We've paid you for this. And he started crying, saying he's really in a tough spot. Brandon used the crybaby contractor act on Joe and Angela as well. He started crying. They paid Boo Hoo and Brandon $60,000 for a pool that was supposed to be done this April. But the only thing they have to show is this ridiculous looking diagram of a pool built into the side of a hill next to their house. And get this, Brandon and the couple were actually friends. Here they are at one of Brandon's wedding parties. Joe asked his friend. What have you bought with my, with my money? And what does he say? I don't have it. But Brandon did have lots of fancy stuff, a new house in Macomb, a Lamborghini. Remember, this is a guy who posts videos about how successful he is. Man, he runs the Heitman Academy. Wonder if Brandon teaches how to dodge judgments. He is good at that. Attorney Danny Batty's client has a consent judgment against Brandon. The court is ordering uh, Mr. Heitman and his company to pay 
the X amount of dollars that was at issue. And has he paid anything? No, no, he has not. How much did Joe Rigaldo get stiffed? He gave him the full $81,000. So he gave him $81,000 up front to build the pool? That's correct. A similar agreement was made with a guy named Mark Shamaya. Brandon agreed to pay him back $67,000 for a pool that was never even started. Seems like Pool Boy is drowning in debt. His solution? Make more videos trying to get new customers. Hey, Brandon here. Let me tell you why you need to invest in your new outdoor living space today. And it must have worked because just two weeks ago, a couple in Gross Point say they gave him $75,000 for a new pool. This is what they have so far. Little did they know, Exigent was filing for bankruptcy. It happened just last week. A week after, Brandon Hypen was arrested and charged with two felonies, taking more than $50,000 under false pretenses and fraudulent use of the builder's contract fund. He bonded out of jail on $30,000 cash. And remember, when he drew up the contracts on all these pools, the millionaire contractor didn't even have a contractor's license. Their permits were all pulled by someone named Henry Bell. What's he got to say about it? I went to his house and left cards. Rob Walchek from Fox 2. Looking for Henry Bell. But Henry's never contacted me back. So where is Brandon Heitman? According to their website, this is the headquarters of Exigent Design and Build. But we found out they haven't been here for years. But I did find him at this work yard on 23 Mile in Shelby, pacing around, talking business on the phone, or maybe he's mentoring a student from the Heitman Academy. Time for me to dunk pool boy. Can I talk to you? What's that? Talk to my Thank you. No, I want to talk to you right now. Brandon, hang on. Hang on, man. Hey, come on. Here, talk to me. What's going on with your business? You talk to my attorney. Thank you. Well, I want to talk to you. Great offer. Well, what's going on with your business now? You're a talkative guy. I've seen your videos. Thank you. Don't run away from pressure. How's the Heitman Academy going? Why don't you give back the money to the, the $60,000 to Angela and Joe? Come on, Brandon, talk to me. Come on, dude, roll your window down. Here, you want to take my business card? You can have your Thank attorney you. contact you. Who's your All attorney? Right. Thank you. I, I'll have them call you. Thank you. OK. Hey, Brandon, come on in. The water's perfect here in the Hall of Shag. Now, Rebecca and Alex tell me the lawsuit Heitman filed against them has been dropped, but Brandon's legal problems keep building besides his company filing for bankruptcy, civil suits, and the two felonies he's been charged with. Shelby Township Police say they're investigating more cases.